What's up, you? What's up, YouTube, and welcome to episode four of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke challenge. Um, I'm Insane Dragonite HD, and and this time we are and and this time we are heading towards the towards Mount Moon, so we can so we can move on to uh, Cerulean City. So as you can see, we're in a battle against uh, Lash Janus, who has a Pidgey. We're gonna send out Jake, and of course we're gonna use Water Gun. And in this episode, we also catch a new partner, which I'm not going to say who it is, but you'll find out eventually. Or it's either in this episode or next episode, I don't remember. So, yeah, I've been checking out some uh, stuff lately. Um, some Let's Players, uh, I found one, but he speeds out too much, and it gets kind of annoying because he's always speeding up the gameplay, and I kind of like to hear the music, and I kind of like, kind of don't like to have the gym battles sped up because if the gym battles are sped up, then that means, uh, really, then that means you're not only using strategy, unless it's a speed run. That's about the only exception. So I hear you guys have been enjoying this uh, commentary style I've been doing. So I'm gonna continue the way it's going. Let's continue the way it's been. So yeah, basically, we're gonna head up and go battle a and go battle a bug trainer who has said, "Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest." So apparently, this must this is one of the bug trainers we saw in Viridian Forest. Uh, we don't know who. Oh, probably bug trainer Colton. I don't think I ever saw him. Uh, I think he's the one we didn't battle. So he's got a level 10 Caterpie. That obviously either no string shot and tackle, uh, which are not very good moves. Uh, string shot is kind of I don't know. It's not a good move unless you want to lower speed, which at which speed is not really a necessary factor unless your Pokemon hits hard. So yeah, we're gonna level it to level 15, and our stats are gonna go up pretty good. So yeah, next we have um, his Weedle. His Weedle's level 10, and obviously his Weedle knows Poison Sting, which we hope it doesn't use Poison Sting. Just luckily I haven't set the, uh, just luckily I wasn't like, uh, my old partner, uh, Dragon, my old partner Pimp, a Pokemon, where he set his Nuzlocke Challenge to where he has absolutely no, uh, he only is only with his Pokemon Center once. But obviously he's using the potions, which completely removes the challenge of the one Pokemon Center healing. So yeah, as I said before, I might do a no Pokemon Center run, but it's definitely not going to be a Nuzlocke, because that would be way too hard. I cannot do that. So um, so obviously lately I have been uh, playing some, Mar as I said, I have been playing some Final Fantasy, some Final Fantasy 1. Uh, now later, uh, even though I'm doing the DOS version, I might be showing off the NES version which might be uh, a, a couple years later. Now, I will try to play through the Final Fantasies that I can, whether it's Final Fantasy 1, Final Fan next it will be Final Fantasy 2, for the NES or for the PS1, depending on how you guys feel. Uh, if you guys want... Uh, no, actually, it's going to be on the DOS version. I just forgot that DOS has Final Fantasy 2 on it. Final Fantasy 3, uh, I will be doing the NES version of that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. Because I've actually never played Final Fantasy 3, so it'll be a really fun uh, walkthrough. So far, I've only gotten really past the beginning of the game. I've downloaded it on my computer, which which obviously I've been playing it a lot. And I've also been thinking about starting something called a Street Fighter Saturdays and uh, Mario Kart Mondays, where basically every Saturday and Monday I will put Saturday I will play Street Fighter, and I will hold uh, a, if I can figure out get the online to work, I will hold online tournaments of Street Fighter, and they will be every Saturday. They will be every Saturday, and and of course I will commentate them uh, after they are over, so you guys can see so you guys can see how it is. And every and every week we will determine a winner, or every two weeks we will determine a winner. Then Mario Kart Mondays is basically the same thing, just uh, Mario Kart tournaments. And obviously, I if I start these, I will be posting my Mario Kart, my Mario Kart friend code on uh, YouTube, so, so all of you can see. So yeah, as you can see, our Jake is evolving into a War Turtle, which which means that it's gonna, which means that uh, it's in the second stage of its evolution, which means we only have 20 more levels to leveling up, and then it being a Blastoise. So yeah, obviously uh, Jake's not going to learn any new moves. With the fact of being a blast, with the fact of being a War Turtle, I almost called him Blastoise. Uh, LOLs. So yeah, we're going to give uh, Jake a potion, and and we're going to run into another Bug Trainer. And this bug trainer is going to say, are you a trainer? Let's get with her out. So of course I'm a trainer. Would I be battling you if I wasn't? Why are you even asking that? So, yeah, bug trainer Greg is obviously a boring trainer because he has like four Weedles. And Weedle is, and obviously his battles are not interesting. 
So yeah, later I've been thinking about uh, I've been thinking about uh, making templates for my videos, and I've been thinking about asking someone to make an intro for me. If uh, if any of you are good at intros, I would appreciate it if you would make me one because I am very uh, bad at video editing. Obviously, I've only uh, obviously I'm not the best. Uh, I don't know how to make templates, and <clears throat> that's about it. So yeah, I'm kind of having a bit of a voice problem right now. So in case, so I put up my uh, new Lunar Legend episode. Uh, check that out. It's it's where I find the it's where I finish up uh, the tablets and I go into the uh, Dragon Shrine itself. Or is the episode? Yeah, I, yeah, that's the episode where I check out the drag where I find the three tablets and then we go into the Dragon Shrine. Uh, now, however, I will be uploading the next episode where we actually do go into the Dragon Shrine and we actually get to meet the dragon that's there. So, as you can see, uh, our Pokemon has really good stats and its Water Gun. It, it, now, its Water Gun PP is only 11, so obviously we're gonna go heal because yeah we're gonna have to go through uh, Mount Moon and we can't go through Mount Moon with only like 11 PP of Water Gun and as you know Water Gun is our has been our most used move in this Nuzlocke so far and we can't take it for granted because it, it, it has helped us a lot in this Nuzlocke and it will continue to help us further into the game and obviously we're gonna heal with Nurse Joy and now we're going to walk out so yeah and we're going to obviously um, keep running to the right uh, we're not gonna worry about uh, potions or anything because there's a Pokemon right next to Mount Moon uh, conveniently uh, started so here I have a trainer that's gonna say that good look you gave me it's so intriguing okay so yeah obviously we're gonna get into a battle with last Sally and last Sally's gonna say on Rattata uh, probably the worst Pokemon of all time in my opinion I do not like Rattata at all uh, I even I, I eat uh, but I even like Poochiana more than Rattata and as you guys know from my dragon just walkthroughs I even I, I even hate uh, Poochiana so we're gonna go up to level 17 and after leveling at level 17 we're going to we're, we're, she's going to send out her Nidoran, her Nidoran male, and obviously Nidoran male uh, evolves into Nidoking with the leaf, with with the use of a leaf stone, with the use of a not a leaf stone, a moonstone. Uh, if you get a now, I recommend either either or because it does because I think I'm not sure if it learns uh, Earth Power at level 43 like it does in the other games. I could be wrong, but but. But Nidoran male and Nidoran female can learn moves like uh, Double Kick, and they can also, and when they evolve into Nido Queen, Nido King, and Nido Queen, they can learn moves like Earthquake and other useful moves. So as obviously we're gonna give Jake an antidote, and you see the special animation where obviously somehow uh, Jake eats our antidote, which is not very good because he just ate the packaging. I don't know why he did, but. He did so. Yeah, obviously we're going to battle this bug trainer who says he's gonna battle some Pokemon he just caught, which are obviously not very good. So it's Bug Trainer James and Bug Trainer James is out of Caterpie. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk about other things. Like obviously uh, I can't wait till I get to um, Final Fantasy IV and start doing that game because that game is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. And obviously, I don't think I'll be able to do 7 through 12, sadly, because I don't own any of those games. I've heard 7 is probably the best one. I've actually never played it, so yeah, if I can somehow find 7 in between that time, I will. Let's play that game. So, yeah, and then there's also later, I might, later, uh, I might start uh, a Mario hack walkthrough as soon as I'm finished with all three of these. I might just uh, take a. I, I might either do a Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough, or I might uh, just uh, not do a Pokemon walkthrough and do a uh, Mario Galaxy 2 walkthrough instead. Because I've been thinking about a Mario Galaxy 2 walkthrough. So this girl thinks that we touched her. Apparently, I don't know, but I don't know why we touched her. But she thinks we did. So all she has is a Jigglypuff, and I hope. And this Jigglypuff comes with saying, I hope it does not put us to sleep, because I do not. Because I don't think our Jake, our Jake wants to go to sleep right now, so it's just going to use Pound, which is going to do five damage, which is crap. Now Pound is actually better than Tackle at the beginning of the game. If if you get a Pokemon 
that knows pound in the beginning, it's obviously going to get better. So Jake's going to level 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 18, and we're going to defeat her. And she's going to say that's it, obviously. And obviously, we're going to leave her. So yeah, we're going to capture. Now we're going to attempt to capture our next partner. Obviously, it's a Spiro, and and we're going to attempt to capture this without using it, hurting it, because obviously, since we're 10 levels above it. We're going to kill it, which means we're going to have to just get luck with our Pokeballs. So, yeah, we're going to capture it with the Pokeball. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, we caught we caught Spiro, and we caught our new partner, Spiro. Now, and it says it basically flits around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can be tough if he uses a mirror move. So, yeah, Spiro, we're going to name it uh, Mira. Which also means uh, look. Uh, obviously, I don't know why I named Mira, but I did because yeah, I like the name Mira. And also, Mira is obviously Spanish for look. It, uh, that's actually what it means is look. Yes, yeah, I'm in Spanish one. In case you're wondering, I know this stuff. So yeah, Mira's level eight. Um, so yeah, uh, Mira is not very high leveled. We're gonna level up Mira, and hopefully, Mira can get to an appropriate level. So, we're going to end the episode here. This has been Insane Dragonite HD. Uh, sorry about the saving. Apparently my thing doesn't work. So, bye.